Hey everybody, Thomas Joseph here. Now turkey burgers at their best can be incredibly flavorful and really, really juicy. But oftentimes they end up dry and crumbly and kind of flavorless. Well today I'm gonna to share with you a few tips in making the perfect turkey burger and I'm sure you're gonna go back to this recipe each and every time. Let's first talk about the turkey, right? That's the key component in a turkey burger. And today I'm using dark meat turkey. Now dark meat turkey is higher in fat than light meat turkey, which comes from the breast of the turkey. And more fat equals more flavor, and it also contributes a good amount of moisture that will help keep your turkey burgers nice and moist. Now, I have my turkey meat coarsely ground, so if you can, ask your butcher, go up to the case and say, hey, is it possible for you to coarsely grind some dark meat turkey for me? That's so much better than buying the stuff that's in that pre-packaged container because that container is so finely ground that it's gonna give you this kind of pasty texture within your turkey burger and that's really not what you're looking for. Now I have this in a bowl of ice because I want the meat to stay nice and cold. This will help the fat to stay in nice pieces and it won't melt down into the meat which in the end will give us a really great texture to our turkey burger. So while our meat is hanging out here with some ice, I'm gonna start on some of the aromatics that give really great flavor to this turkey burger recipe. Now, the first ingredient, some scallions. Now, this recipe calls for four scallions, but these are pretty big, so I'm really only gonna use two of them today. Scallions are really fantastic, and if you don't have scallions, you could also use a little bit of shallot here. What this does is it adds a nice flavor, but it's also going to add a good amount of moisture to the turkey burger, to this patty. And I'm just going to kind of divide these up into fours, slicing them lengthwise, and I'm gonna chop them up into a nice kind of medium size piece. I don't want them to be too, too fine, but I also don't want them to be too big where it's giving kind of a coarse texture to the turkey burger itself. All right, scallions are all minced up. Now I'm going to add these to a nice large bowl here. And when you're mixing your burger or when you're making a meatloaf or anything that you're kind of combining um, with ground meat, you wanna make sure that you're using a bowl that's kind of wide enough to really mix everything together with not over mixing it. Sometimes if you have a bowl that's really too small, all of your ingredients are kind of stacked up on top of each other and it takes a lot longer to mix the ingredients until they're fully combined and you end up overworking whatever the meat is that you're using. So to my scallions here, I'm going to add a really great pungent flavorful ingredient and that is Dijon mustard. This is a quarter of a cup of Dijon mustard and um, I really love this mustard because it's nice and tangy. It has a little bit of a spice to it, a little bit of a bite. And if you didn't like Dijon mustard or if you wanted to use a different type of mustard, you could use a grainy mustard. Um, I wouldn't really suggest using that classic American yellow mustard that's really kind of intense. That wouldn't go well in this mixture here. Also, a little bit of mayo would be fantastic as well if you're not a big fan of mustard. To this, I'm gonna add one clove of garlic that I've minced, and this is pretty fine. If you wanted to switch up the flavors here and you wanted to do something that was a little bit more exotic, maybe you wanted to make an Asian style turkey burger, you could certainly do that with the scallions, the garlic, add a little bit of chopped ginger. I would encourage you to then add a little bit of mayo to this mixture instead of the mustard. Breadcrumbs, this is fresh breadcrumbs here, a quarter of a cup. And the reason I love to use fresh breadcrumbs in um, a turkey burger as opposed to the dried ones that you get at the store is because they have a little bit of moisture in them. They're not you know, so dry and brittle that they're going to absorb so much moisture from the turkey meat or from the aromatics that you put into the mix. Um, and that will help in keeping a nice moist burger. But what the breadcrumbs do is they help the burger stay together in a nice patty. And I'm only using a little bit. Another ingredient that I'm adding is a half a cup of finely grated Gruyere cheese. Now this cheese, and a lot of the ingredients that I'm adding are really pungent and flavorful, and that's really what you're looking for, guys, something that's gonna give really great flavor. This has been finely grated, so it's gonna disperse nicely in the mix. Now, if you uh, weren't a fan of Gruyere cheese, you could certainly use a Parmesan cheese, you could use a nice feta cheese that's um, maybe not super, super wet, um, but kind of flavorful, that would be really great here. Really any cheese will work as long as it has a nice, rich flavor to it. 
So I'm just mixing these aromatics together before I add the turkey meat because I, I, I don't wanna overwork the turkey meat. That's actually one of the most important things when making turkey burgers or turkey meatloaf, not over processing the meat, breaking it down and melting the fat that exists in the meat. So to this mixture, I'm going to add salt and pepper. So I'm gonna add a hefty pinch of pepper. Again, this is really seasoning the entire patty here. So make sure you use a generous amount of seasoning. Coarse salt. We always use kosher salt here in our test kitchens. And that's probably a generous half teaspoon, maybe even a teaspoon of coarse salt. Um, and just mix this together. And one thing here, guys, if you see that your mixture is really thick and pasty, what you can do is you can actually thin it out slightly so it easily mixes into your meat. So I'm gonna take a little bit of the water I have here, maybe a teaspoon or two, and just thin out this mixture ever so slightly so that it really kind of easily disperses with the turkey meat. Now, again, I'm gonna add my turkey meat. This is one and a half pounds of turkey meat and it's coarsely ground. So I'm gonna put this right into my bowl here and I'm gonna just gently fold the turkey meat with all of those great aromatics and those breadcrumbs. You really don't wanna do this with your hands, guys, because your hands are much warmer than the spatula here, so it's gonna warm up the meat too, too much. So fold this together. If you wanted to, you could certainly take that bowl that you have with the ice water, and you can mix this over the ice bath here so that the mixture stays super, super cold. Now, I have a grill pan heating over medium heat. I'm gonna crank it up to medium high. Since we're indoors today, I'm using a grill pan. Um, and the one thing that you need to kind of make note of if you're grilling these indoors is that you might wanna finish these turkey burgers in your oven. So that's kind of one of the main tips that I like to focus in on and talk about uh, when it comes to grilling is doing some of the work on the grill pan, getting a nice crisp crust to whatever it is you're making, a steak, a burger, a piece of chicken, but then finishing the meat in a lower temperature um, in your oven. Now, if you were doing this on your grill, you could certainly uh, replicate that kind of indirect heat, that lower temperature, by turning some of the burners off on your gas grill or moving the coals in your um, charcoal grill around to the perimeter, creating an oven with a lower temperature. So I'm using an ice cream scoop here to portion these guys out. I'm gonna get about four generous sized burgers here, so that's gonna be a heaping cup of this mixture and I'm just gonna place them onto a parchment lined cookie sheet. And if you're making turkey burgers for a party, you guys, one of the really great things is that you can form these and put them into the refrigerator so that they stay nice and cold. And that refrigeration really helps for the patty to kind of seal together into a nice user-friendly, easy to grill patty. So. so I'm gonna move this off to the side and I'm gonna gently form these into one inch thick patties. Now this is something that you kind of have to do with your hands, but use the um, parchment lined sheet tray here to your advantage. And once you get it into a nice shape, you can press it down into something that's round and then you can create a little divot in the center of your turkey burger, and this will help during the cooking process because burgers tend to shrink up when they're cooking. And so if you create a little divot in the center, it's going to, in the end, hopefully create a nice even patty. So I'm gonna shape these guys up, and if they get a little too warm, pop them in the refrigerator, and once they are nice and cold, we'll be ready to grill them. All right, so our turkey burgers have had a chance to hang out in the refrigerator for a little bit. They've firmed up slightly, and I took a little bit of the meat, and I've grilled it up in the pan. You could also do this in a microwave um, if you wanted to, and this is really just to check whether or not the seasoning is good before you cook all of your turkey burgers. So taking a little piece, we're almost there. What I think I'm gonna do is actually season the burgers. So just take a little bit of salt and kind of coat the outside. Maybe we'll do a little bit of pepper too, and we are ready to grill. I have my grill on medium high heat here, and I'm gonna take a paper towel and a little bit of safflower oil, grapeseed oil, canola oil, a high heat neutral oil, and just 
brush the grates of your grill with the oil so that you can ensure that your burgers are not gonna stick to the grates of the grill. And so now I'm gonna take about two of these because I have a small grill pan here and I'm going to gently lift them up with the paper, kind of rest them in my hand and place them right on my grill pan that's preheated here to a medium high heat. And these will take about a minute to two minutes per side until you get a nice crust on the bottom and then we're gonna flip. Now don't check them too soon, don't poke around because since the turkey meat is so soft, if you do do that before they're ready to flip, you're gonna end up kind of disfiguring your burgers. So give them a chance to cook before you flip them. All right guys, so it's been about two to three minutes here and I'm gonna try and flip these burgers over. Now, one important thing to do when you're flipping burgers or you're flipping delicate things like fish on a grill is to go with the grates of the grill. So you can see that these grates kind of go this way throughout the pan. So I'm gonna turn it. I'm gonna use my spatula. This is a nice flexible fish spatula. And what's great about this is that you can get really underneath things like burgers and fish fillets by pressing down into the pan. And you're gonna use a decent amount of pressure. So press down and kind of scoop up the, the burger and give it a nice flip here. So again, Flip them over, and then at this point, what I like to do is I like to take the whole pan and I'll put it into a 350 degree oven. So we're cooking these burgers at a gentle rate. Now we're looking for about 165 degrees in the center of the turkey burger. That's really what you're looking for with poultry and especially ground poultry. An instant read thermometer is a really great way of measuring doneness. So these guys are going into the oven. All right, everybody, so the burgers are out of the oven now and they've rested a little bit. You wanna make sure that you give them a little bit of time, maybe a minute or two to kind of rest and relax before you assemble your burgers. Now, you can customize this in any sort of way. I have the classic condiments. I have a Dijon mustard again, um, a little bit of mayo, ketchup, Pickles are always fantastic. Lettuce, tomato, onion. It's really up to you though. What do you like on your turkey burger? So. I'm gonna dress this up with a little bit of mayo and mustard. I'm gonna put the mustard on the top bun. It's always great to have condiments on both the top and the bottom of your sandwich, on your burger, whatever it is. You don't wanna bite into anything that's really dry. I didn't mention this before, but the buns are toasted. A really great burger in the end, if you toast the bun, it will be even better. So give that little extra time to kind of grill them up or you can griddle them on a nice buttered uh, skillet. That would be great too. So I'm gonna place my turkey burger right on the bottom bun here. I'm gonna dress this up with a little bit of lettuce and tomato, maybe a few pickles. And I really can't wait to show this burger to you guys. So I'm gonna give it a cut in half so you can see how nice and moist that turkey burger is. You can see it's super juicy. The meat is really tender and really, really flavorful from all of those wonderful ingredients. Now, we love to see if you guys are making our recipes, so reach out to us using the hashtag Kitchen Conundrums. And if you have any other problems in the kitchen that you need solved, let us know. Enjoy. And as always guys, click like and subscribe.